Hello. So day 22. Two days left after today and that is it. We're gone. All those vlogmas people. Gone forever. Not really. Can't get rid of me that easy. Um, today was a bit of a nothingness day. Um, but we actually we'd forgotten we'd promised to take the little one, the eldest one, not the little one, to the cinema. So we're off to see Spider-Man later on today. Uh, my little one, Oliver, hates the cinema. It's crazy, because we all love it. So he's going to his Nana's instead, um, while we go and have a bit of quality time with Jack. So that'll be really nice, actually. Um, I think we're going to go out for a walk as well at some point today. I need to do my ironing, because I didn't do that yesterday. And today we're cleaning out kitchen cupboards as well. It's exciting in this household, I'll tell you right now. It is exciting. So that's just the hoover on upstairs, by the way, if you can hear that. Um, it's not my husband's hoover. <laughs> Don't get any ideas. I'm very lucky to have a very lovely friend who's a cleaner. Um, and today I've got my Billy Jumper on. I always feel a bit extra in this. I feel like people can see me from quite a distance, like you wouldn't miss me if you saw me in this jumper. This is the one with the puffy sleeves. I have made the Billy dress without the puffy sleeves and I think I prefer that version. So I do want to make a Billy jumper without the puffy sleeves as well. But it's in this gorgeous fabric that I got from Frumble Fabrics. But yeah, you don't miss me in it, do you? Love to be a little bit extra. So I'm gonna have some breakfast right now. I'm gonna have fruit and yogurt this morning. Not that that's gonna help me whatsoever with the amount of quality streets and gingerbread that I ate last night, but it's better than eating like a big fry, is it? That's how I justify it to myself. So I will check in with you a bit later. Uh-oh. I'm peeing. Oh, that's nice. I'll catch you with you later. Hello again. I have done all my ironing. I think I deserve a medal, to be honest. I've done my ironing. It is all put away. Um, we're going to the cinema later. My brother's just decided he's gonna drop in, so he's coming any minute now. So I was thinking I might sneak in hours sewing before we go to the cinema, but I don't think that's gonna happen now. So it might be a non-sewing day again. But I know yesterday I said that I was gonna sign off and then I was gonna set all of my machines up ready to do my South Bank sweater dress. I actually didn't do that. My sewing room was in such a state. I actually spent 20 minutes tidying it up. It's still not 100% in all honesty but it's a hell of a lot better than it was. So I thought I'd quickly pop on now before my brother gets here and I will show you my advent calendars because I haven't done those yet. Um, in fact, let's just do that now. Let's just do that now. I'm not prepped. I'm never prepped, am I? Oh. So let's do Kylie. Let's do Kylie and the machines. So we're after day 22. Day 22, man. It is day 22, isn't it? Why can't I see a 22? Oh, it's there. <laughs> it shouldn't be that hard, should it? There it is, look. It's got that nice little purple pattern on it. So let's have a look what's behind this door. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Looks like it's something lilac. Oh, they're lovely. Can you see that? Can you see that? So it's got a sewing machine, a pair of scissors, some thread, a ruler, a little flower on it. They're beautiful. Love those. So that's very nice. Only two more days left of that. Lovely calendar. It's probably good things if it went on any longer. I would. I mean, I'm not going to use all these in about two years, am I? <laughs> but hey-ho. And then the Beyond the Pink door calendar. Let's have a look. Oh, three, two, right on top. Bear in mind, it's because there's only three things left in there. Ooh. I have no idea. Let's have a look. 22. Oh, oh look at that. I've seen these um, before. I've never bought one. I've always thought, oh, I'll get one of those. It's a little cat thing that you put onto your machine. And it's a pin holder, <clears throat> which I think is quite handy. You know, like sometimes when your pin cushion isn't where you where you thought it was because you've left it on the ironing board or something like that. That happens to me regularly. Um, oh, I'm going to put that straight onto my machine is what I'm going to do. Oh, it's like on a, oh, it's like on a sucker. 
with suction cup for attaching to the sewing machine. So that's good. You can move it about as well. Look, it's a little suction cup. I'm going to put that <laughs> just about to go like that. Is that what other people do? I didn't actually do it then, by the way. Um, do you like liquor suction cup or is that just me? I don't know where I've got that from, but I seem to remember doing that before. Where am I going to put him? I think I'm going to put him there because you can't see this at all. I'm so sorry. Um, oh no, it's falling off. <laughs> okay. <laughs> where can I shove him? Because I haven't got like a flat piece on my machine other than, oh no, he could go at the bottom there. And he's on. Watch him fall off any minute. Thank you, Andrea and Keris. That's lovely. And like I say, I have seen those before and wanted ones. So that's even better. So I know I've got my South Bank sweater dress um, cut out, but I've also been thinking about what else I would like to do. And I definitely want to make two different tops. One being the patina blouse, that, which I bought from the Friday Pattern Company when they had their 20% off. I do believe that might have been Emma from So Do It Emma's Fault. That one, I can't remember, I think so. Um, and the other, I haven't got a picture, so I'll, I'll insert one somewhere if I remember. Probably won't. And the other one is the Paddington Top by Peppermint Magazine, which is a free pattern. So I've already had this, printed it out and cut out the shapes. Now, I'm not scared to say I'm a little bit larger than when I actually cut it out. So I've cut out a shape, a size E. And when I've looked at it, I'm like, mm, should really cut a size F. But I've heard a few people say it's a little bit oversized. But the finished garment measurements on the waist, I'm like, oh, you're pushing it, girl. I'm actually 36 waist. And on an E, the waist is 36 and a quarter inches. Eee, what do I do? So I don't know whether, what I might do is still cut it out in an E. Because I've already done the pattern and I can't be bothered. In the hopes that obviously I'm going to lose a bit of chub in uh, January. Um, or just go to like a slightly slimmer um, seam allowance around the waist area because the hips is fine I'm 44 hip at the moment and the hip circumference is 49 and the bust is no problem I'm a 40 and it's 43 and three quarters there's plenty in the bust um but waist wise that's what I'm worrying a little bit about but when you look at the line drawing it doesn't look like it goes in that much to be honest so I'm thinking maybe I'll get away with it Anyway, so for the patina blouse, I think you have to have just under two metres because I want to do the long sleeve version. And I've got three fabrics. I'll show you which ones I've picked out because <clears throat> I buy a lot of one and a half metres if it's for a top. But obviously when you're doing something with sleeves, big sleeves, etc., it takes a little bit more. So that limited my choice. So I've got um, this one, which is one that I bought a while ago from Rainbow Fabrics Kilburn, which I love. So it's a black background with white, um, purple and blue flowers on a little um, green leaves. The only thing was I ordered two metres of this <clears throat> and when it arrived, it was cut into two, two one metre pieces and they didn't tell me in advance. So I messaged them and they were ever so nice about it. And I said, you know what, I'll just keep it. It's fine. But you need to kind of be letting people know if that's the case, because I probably would have said, no, don't bother if I'd have known in advance. Um, but I can't say anything bad about Rainbow Fabric Kilman because their fabrics are awesome. I mean, that dress that I've just made, that Lyra was made out of fabric from them. The quality is so good for the price. I'd recommend them to anybody. So I've got two one metre pieces. So I don't know if I can juggle it about. I'm gonna have to try and put a bit of, you know, jigsaw puzzle together to see whether I could get it out of that. But that's an option. Absolutely love that. <clears throat> another option is finally cutting into my animal print viscose so that was a viscose by the way and this is viscose this was out of my so Haley jane box but i had actually already bought some from lamarne fabrics <laughs> so i've got tons of this tons of this stuff and i quite fancy that in the patina blouse just got the sharp collar so that'd be nice and flowy i like flowy things but then i've also got this which i was gifted from all your textiles on gold hawk road in london now i made i had a couple of pieces of fabric from them one of which i made my cali shirt out of which i still haven't taken photos of which i'm going to try and do over the christmas holidays um and the other one was this and i absolutely love it let me show you it oh it's just beautiful so this again is a black background with really bright pink, orange and green all over it. And I love it. Now this has got a bit more structure to it. 
um, and it does say light to medium weight fabric. So I think it would do really nice. It'd probably hold the pointed collar very well, this one. Um, so I don't, I'm, I'm unsure which one I'm going to go for just now. But what I thought is I'll have a look at the Paddington top because I think that takes two metres as well. Maybe slightly more because it's got really big sleeves. And I could maybe make um, the Paddington top out of one of these, whichever one I don't decide sort of thing. So they're my three options at the moment. So yeah, so I think patina blouse and the Paddington blouse are going to be next on my list. Um, a couple of nice tops to wear. With jeans you know when you go out jeans and a nice top type of thing um so i think that's what i'm going to make next after my southbound sweater so my brother's not here just yet what i'm going to do is i'm going i am actually going to set my machines up now ready although i've got black in my machine i haven't really got a color that would kind of go that well with it's like the teal color if you remember right it's this one let me get it out just to remind you that one so i'm thinking i might just do it with the i've got navy probably be a bit better than black but would it be that much different i might just go for it with the overlock you know black in what do we think does everybody else do that or is it just me so yeah so i will have a go at maybe setting that up or maybe having a quick go at it and then i'll get back to you soon see you later bye I'm back. So I only got about, I don't know, 10 minutes of my dress being made before my brother came round, but 10 minutes is better than nothing. So we went and dropped my little one off and then we've been to see Spider-Man at the cinema. It was nice because it was really quiet. Um, and my son absolutely loved it. So did me and my husband, to be fair. <clears throat> it was absolutely brilliant. So I've watched some nice things on the screen today. So I've watched Spider-Man at the cinema. And I've also been watching while I've been ironing, um, or Creatures Great and Small, the new remade one. And it's just fills my heart with joy, does that programme. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else has been watching it, but I'm trying to catch up with it because I know there's a Christmas special coming on. So I'm a few episodes into series two now. And it's nice, gentle. So while I'm ironing, the kids can come in and out and it doesn't really matter. So I've been watching that as well. Um, so I've quickly nipped upstairs, I've just come back, sewing bee is on soon, but I've put it on record so that I can watch it about 20 past 8 and fast forward through the adverts, because <laughs> I can't stand adverts. So I thought what I might be able to do is just get half an hour of my dress made before then. So I've come and escaped upstairs. So all the boys are downstairs, they've all just been shouting at each other, so I've just come out of the way. Um, and I'm going to do that for a little bit. So that's it, that's day 20 two done two more to go tomorrow i'm off to see my dad then i'm off to marks and spencer's with my mum to pick up all the christmas stuff um so i'm not sure how much time i'll get tomorrow but i will try and check in with you as i go hope everybody's well and speak to you tomorrow bye